Okay. <clears throat> Today I'm going to hit you a few other things that you could do in this uh, with these new modules. <clears throat> Maybe just one or two. For one thing, um, remember how much space the old modules took up? You know, the, you know, the ones that look new and stuff like that? Well, this is how much the old ones take up. Yeah, and I didn't even fill up the whole grid yet. I'm just showing this. If you look at my objects limit, it's at just barely 30%. That's a lot. <laughs> so you can actually build multiple levels in here, and you guys got quite a bit of space here. Like, this is the end of the grid. <clears throat> so if you wanted to, you can actually build the entire uh, Doom 1 campaign. So keep that in mind. You can actually do a lot here. But we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Instead, I'm going to go ahead and pick another module. Yeah, let's go for something simple. Uh, what do I for using? I guess I use this one. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to show you a little something real quick. Okay, let's say you want. Um, remember I showed you in the last video? Um, you can actually um, give uh, <clears throat> enemies different sound effects when they get hit and when they die. You can do that for items, but it works differently though. See. You can't just take out the spawn settings and then set it up. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. So here's what you got to do. What you need to do is custom event. And uh, we'll give this a different icon. We'll give this. Uh, I give the doom icon. Okay. <clears throat> and when this triggers, to the speaker. There we go. I didn't pick up. All right, I'm gonna kick up the volume on this a bit. Let me uh, just do 20. Okay. Now you got that set up. Now what you gotta do is put your items in here. So let's say, um, like this shield, for example. Picked up. Custom event. There you go. Let me get my uh, spawn in here. that. So, let me put the, uh, let me set the respawn timer on that thing, that way you can let me pick it up over and over again. Always forget to do that. There you go. Now you know it works. <clears throat> Same can be used for weapons, also in ammo. Thing is, you gotta set it up for each individual piece of ammo and gun you wanna put in the game. So, like, for instance, let's say you wanna put. Like these shotgun shells. 
You don't have to set it up for the exact same procedure. This. And you have to do for each individual one also, so. No, I'm not saving it now. <clears throat> Come on, load up. See? So, now you get that sound effect for shields, ammo, and yes, it works for guns too. In fact, guns had no sound effects to begin with, so it'd be better to do it with those. So, let's say we want to put. Yeah, chain gun. Bomb picked up. Timer in there. <coughs> yeah, come on, come on. See that? There you go. So, and now you get those item sounds in there. And that's how you get the item sounds in there. My neighbors never know when to shut up. And so, hope you enjoyed this video, and y'all take care.